Hi guys, and welcome back to the Black Sea Empire as Pontic Pentapolis. Last time, we were at war with the Bosporans, and we have the return of the face cam as well. Let me know which side you prefer, guys. I prefer the left-hand side, I think, for this game, just because if we go on here, for example, you can't see what I'm recruiting if I have it in the bottom right. But anyway, guys, let's get on with this video. The plan for today is going to be mopping up the Bosporans. We do have to fight this army, which is not going to be too fun to fight, especially with such damaged horse archers over here. But we do have comparable amount of cavalry. I'm hoping they'll come and attack us and we can take a defensive position, but I guess we shall find out. Um, and we're not building in many places because we have just been building up our military uh, might, basically. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. See whether we can build up some of these settlements as well and see whether anyone decides to attack us. The Thracians are still at war with us, but they're still a little bit scared of taking these settlements. So that is the main thing for us. Just make sure they don't have any big armies. Bithynia has some big armies, but hopefully they're going to fight the uh, Seleucids <laughs> as well. But without further ado, guys, let's uh, press the enter. Let's see what the Bosporans decide to do. Well, it turns out the Bosporans decided to do nothing, my friends, so <laughs> that's good news for us. I think we're just going to auto-resolve it. It's only a general. 18, there we go. Perfect for us. Let's get in there. And let's enslave, guys. I'm also probably going to just turn the volume down slightly. So let me know if the volume is better now or once I've turned it down. And we did get some horse archers, so we are going to continue recruiting them. I'm not going to stop until we get basically a full stack of horse archers, boys. That is the plan anyway. And we can also get horse archers from this settlement over here. Slightly different one. Scythian horse archers. But any horse archer is a good horse archer, guys. Let's be honest. Any horse archer is a fantastic horse archer. And, of course, they're very unhappy in Hermanassa over here. I do think we need to clean this up here. So we are going to do that first before we deal with any of the public order sort of issues. Um, we can actually, actually get a spy around here. I think that'd be a good idea. Let's get a spy straight away. Let's also... Uh, Fen Fenagra has basically built everything in the town, apart from I deleted the temple. So let's just make sure they are going to be happy going forward. And I think we'll get the, um, the Temple of Zeus, the Shrine to Zeus. There we go. And let's get this army on the move again. This is going to be interesting. Let's see how this battle goes. Well, it is slightly in their favor. They've got about 1,800. We've got about 1,400. So about 400 difference, my friends. Um, yeah, it's just mainly the cavalry that's going to be annoying with this. But um, yeah, let's see how we can how we do against them. There's a good chance that we absolutely get shredded, but there's also a very good chance that we do a good job as well. So let's go. Sound the horns, men! Yes! And, of course, it is the flattest battle map you may ever see. It's got its own black sea in the middle. Oh, no, it's just an estuary. <laughs> these guys these guys are stuck over here. Poor guys. Like, yeah. It's quite desolate over here, isn't it? But that's going to be quite good for us because it allows us to see where our horses are at all well, times. What we'll do, guys, is send our horse archers over here to try and deal with some of their... Cavalry. I'm going to put them on skirmish mode for now because we don't want any of that cavalry getting any close to us. And the rest of us, we're going to try and deal with these fools. We're going to protect our flank with those little buildings there. Um, and yeah, let's get going. Our glorious Nicaretos, the praise, will be praising the men from the uh, from behind them over here as well. Right, we are going to just go for the attack here, guys. I don't think there's any point in waiting. So we're going to do that. I'm also going to bring these guys here like this just to try and block off some of the uh, some of the guys. We're also going to bring these guys around here, see if they can catch the Sindian cavalry over there. The Acontisti is the general in this army. I've got to, I love that banner, though. Look at that banner. That is a sexy-ass banner. The Bosporans certainly do have some very, very nice um, graphics and all that sort of thing. And they're all just running away because they're all missile troops. Well, that's not fun for me, is it? Oh dear, I forgot about the general. And he has run quite far. And we are trying to get into the Sindian cavalry now. This might be the opportunity to break those boys. 
They are wavering. Just look at the amount of cavalry these guys have, though. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Let's move backwards. We don't want to be caught by the Scindians. Looks like we're not really doing too much. Who is losing a lot of men over here? You are. Who are you getting shot by, bro? Okay, we managed to break a load of their cavalry. We're going to just try and come back from that now. But mercenary Asian cavalry here. We should still be able to beat that. Are they going to charge us? Interesting. 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 We should... St I think we'll be able to beat that. We might not, but um, hopefully we do. There we go. We've got these guys coming over this side as well. Are these guys... Okay, that's one of their generals. Um, are these guys archers or anything? Or are they just javi boys? I actually don't know and I don't remember. Okay, someone's coming after the general here. It is the Sindians again. So let's go into those boys. We've used all of our javis for these boys now. But it looks like we've used our cavalry to very, very good... Um, good extent because we haven't lost too much cavalry yet. Wow, the Sindians are actually quite good, guys. They were absolutely destroying my general there. So we're going to try and get away. We might not have the pace, though. That's the issue here. So I'm going to bring my cavalry back ASAP. Might have to detach one of these boys off this way to try and save my general. Um, I'm happy just shooting at them. They, they're hardly dying to the missiles, though. So I guess they are quite a good cavalry unit. Um, maybe we just set up like that and then just run through them and hopefully these guys will be set up ready to go and let us get into the fight here. What do we have? Bosporan hoplites, which we know are quite good. And then we're going to try and get these guys to protect the flanks here while they're still getting shot. Okay, there goes another general. Is that my general? It is! No! No, Nicaretos! No! Oh, he was an absolute boy. I didn't even see how he died. I guess he got destroyed by the Sindians. These guys are beastly. I'm scared of them now. I am very scared of them. Yeah, they are javelin cavalry. Wait, let me just pause a second. And to be fair, as javelin cavalry go, guys, they are actually pretty insane. 21 defense, which is very, very good. 13 morale, 14 melee attack, and 12 missile attack. Like, that 21 defense is, is almost comparable with a Zistaphoroi, I believe. So, yeah, 21, yeah, that 21 defense is insane uh, for a missile cav. So, that is not good for us. Our general has completely died. Great. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so we did manage to break them on this side. Looks like we're going to have to use these guys as cavalry from now on. The old Prodromoi doing the old Prodromoi stuff. These guys are just protecting the flanks, but it would be nice if we could actually flank. I just don't want to expose my flanks too much. Especially if they go for the charge, like it looks like they're going now. But uh, but yeah, we're, uh, we're looking okay at the moment. Okay, not amazing, but okay. Let's just kill the rest of them before they come back. Come back from, uh, from running. Well then, it looks like we are holding the front lines very nicely, but it looks like we are going to have to kill their hoplites here and i think we're okay now to start flanking because it looks like these guys have uh, basically died we'll just go for the charge on them if they want to run away that's fine they're not gonna uh, they're not gonna do anything about our flank then are they if we can get around there we've got u3 still let's see if we can get a good charge off over here i doubt it oh they've got scythian horse archers still that's not good that is not good we haven't managed to get rid of the horse archers as of yet but uh we probably can if we just come and stand over here right let's go for a charge on the bosporan hoplite general over here guys and i'm glad no none of us are routing as of yet but it looks like they might start routing very soon you can see the amount of people just dying uh on uh on the charge there that's insane <laughs> that is not good that is really, really not good. Hopefully, we can kill this general ASAP. And the Prodromoi decided to start running, which is never good. Um, what we'll do is we'll bring some of, the, some of these guys that have run out of ammo across this way to try and charge as well. And we'll group them together. The rest of them can continue firing, though. As long as they have ammo. As long as they have ammo, they can fire at the Scythian horse archers. Well, here we go. Going for the charge, boys. Going for the charge on the Bosporan hoplites. Let's go. Let's see how it goes. 
Uh, I, I'm assuming a lot of them are going to die again, but we really just need to break them. Yes, there we go. We broke them. We broke them. Fantastic. And that's their general gone, I believe. So that should be the rest of the army ready to rout. Let's go, boys. Well, the Bosran Hoplites, I've got to say, are insanely good. Their morale is very, very good. It's uh, completely caught me out a little bit because we charged a lot into them and they hardly ref they basically refused to break. Fair enough to them. Fair enough to them. Uh, respect to them, but uh, that's not the one. That's not the one. Well, this has been an exceptionally bloody battle, my friends. We've lost half of our men. We've lost our glorious leader as well, which is even more of a shame, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're just going to try and chase down as many as we can. And see if we can stop a couple of these withdrawing. Well, there we go, guys. So they did kill about 600 of our men, but we killed a thousand more than that. 1,600. That is pretty darn good, isn't it? I mean, losing Nicaretos, so I, I would say that's kind of a loss. Maybe we'll get a man out of the hour, but I, I very much doubt it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no. And oh, my God, we actually did get a man of the hour. That is fantastic. We, we needed that. I mean, he's not good. He's rebellious. He's selfish, optimistic. He is blooded, though. That is good. Well supplied, adult, uh, and that's it. Like, he, he's not great. He's got plus one troop morale, so okay. But we did destroy both of those armies, so that is very, very sad about Nicaretos dying. Who's our new family? Like, I thought, I thought Nicaretos was the leader. But I guess it's you, Bato Botarkos of Kalatis. Um, yep, I think you're just chilling though, aren't you? Uh, where's our faction air? Oh well. Um, <laughs> that's fine, we need some more generals. <laughs> right, time to build a few things, guys, and then I will end the turn. Um, so, we just lost all of one army on the boats, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. We lost all our boats and one of our armies as well. No. <laughs> Could this episode have started much worse? We lose our faction leader, our great faction leader. And we lose whole of our army on a boat. <sighs> See, the thing was, right, so they were there and they could only... They got to about here and not to there. So I decided they could get all the way to about here. So I decided just to send them that way. How have the Bosporans found us? Like, if that's not proof of the AI knowing exactly where you are at all times, then I don't know what is. Like, because they could not have seen us. We were, like, out in the middle of the ocean here. So if they've left blockading a port to go and attack us, like, how would they know that? But uh, we did get another sun. So that is good. And we got another spy. Um, so yeah, that is one good thing. At least we still have this army. However damaged it may be, it's still an army, <laughs> kind of. We've also got all of these troops, so I'm hoping we can kind of uh, mix and match this a little bit. If we get 10 in there, that's still 45 in there. What if we leave there? 66 is actually not too bad. I'll accept that. Uh, 20 more in there, 50%. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to put a big unit in there, guys, unfortunately. 65%, that's that's fine by me. Um, if you... You guys can probably join in there now, too, as well. Let's organize these guys. And what I'm going to do is just spread this around a little bit so that the units are a bit fuller. And then we can probably fit you in as well. Are you happy? 80%, 92, 66, and 65. That'll actually go up next turn. Very nice. And 66 there. Is there anything else we can build for happiness? We can. Although, why have we got the Temple of Artemis? Okay. It's because we can get good horse archers here, isn't it? No, it's it's not. What, why did I build the Temple of Artemis? I'm sure I built the law one. I guess it's... That is, that is silly. What, what am I doing? Or was it just here? I'm assuming it was here. Well, we'll sort that out. <laughs> The one good thing we do have going on, guys, is the fact that we do have horse archers recruiting over here and um, over here as well. And I'm also building that so we can recruit horse archers from 
our PK Kome. Now, the main thing I think right now is to build up a fleet. Um, <laughs> I don't mind having one army, which we're not going to have one army. We will have more than that when the horse archers are done. Um, but yeah, the, the fleet is, is a major issue right now. Well then, guys, I think we'll take our damaged army and go for Scopolos. Although, I did take both of the generals by accident. Um, don't want to leave one behind to manage. Maybe Timonax. Asayas looks alright. He is faithful. Green commander, he's been in wars. Yeah, he looks better. So, we'll probably leave behind one of you guys. So, I mean, you have seven command. Why have we not got you? I think we just left you behind, did we? So, but that means you're going to be incredibly upset as soon as we take you out, aren't you? Let's have a look. Zero percent. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's 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 what we call not good, my friends. Not good. We'll have to swap you around then. Thirty percent. Hmm. Yes. Really, really not good. Um, we will be able to sort that next turn though. That's the one thing. Um, and then you, you could go somewhere else, but you seem all right. Well, I think we'll leave Isaias in Fanagorea here, which will make them happy straight away. So then we'll probably be able to make those guys happy like that. You can go into there. I've also got you guys, which can go into there. So yeah, we, we do have some troops that are able to get into Panticapion. So yeah, that should be fine. Let's go and siege this down and see what we can do. And where the hell has that come from? Wow, that has just come out of nowhere. Paphlagonian Cavalry. Do you have some land in Pontus that you're not telling us about? Do you genuinely have land in Pontus? That would be really exciting if you did. Like, that would be so cool. Um, not just for historical reasons, just, just well, mainly historical reasons, but it would be really, really cool. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Like, can we beat this? Probably it's gonna just destroy our army and we don't have a fleet yet to bring it home. Ah, oh, so this yeah, this is this is gonna be challenging, but I think we'll be okay. Let's go. Today in the sight of the gods, they do not rejoice to see brave men die by night, though they will rejoice in a victory. This I pledge to you. Yes, your first battle, my... Well, no, it's not. Mentes has been in battle quite a bit, hasn't he? Um, I'm glad I... I'm pretty sure I left him behind then. That's good. Right, let's find out where the settlement is. And we'll set up accordingly. So, have they removed this from RAS? Because you definitely can see it in vanilla. Because I was just playing vanilla the other day. And you definitely can. Or am I just blind? That is, that is the issue there. I'm sure... It is directly behind us, so we'll kill these guys straight away. And for some reason, they're not coming down the road. They're coming over here. Huh. Well. Oh, well. That's fine. I'm not really that bothered about that. We'll probably just leave you out separate to deal with them. The rest of you are just going to get on this massive hill. That is going to be very helpful to us. And this is the great thing about the hill. We have such high range right now. It's absolutely amazing. And we're going to have high range with all of our boys, which is fantastic. They are still on the way. We'll probably just come this way slightly to keep defending. And uh, yeah, just hopefully we can deal with this onslaught here. If we can get rid of the cavalry, though, I think we're in a good place. Well, here we go, boys. They are charging into the lines now. Um, hopefully they just hit the lines rather than trying to flank us here. But it looks like they are going to try and flank. I mean, this other army is miles away, so I don't think we need to be too worried. But um, that's going to allow us now to flank them too. So let's do that. That'll be good. And then I think we need to start thinking about getting our cavalry in the action. Because a lot of this is just like archers and all that sort of thing. These are just standard sort of... Uh, these Bosporan and 304 are absolutely crap. So uh, yeah, I don't know why those hoplites are running away from us. But um, yeah, maybe we even send these guys up this way to deal with them but no i think they're more valuable out here let's uh let's get these boys they've used all their ammo now so we're going to combine you with the general and we're going to go and kill some light infantry as it should be as it should be my friends well unfortunately we got blocked by this bosporan infantry here so i'm going to try and shoot at them in the back hopefully kill them this unit's going to take a lot of damage but uh, i don't mind them breaking they are holding 
up two units of hoplites just for one single unit of hours. So that's fine. We, they are getting attacked by these three Bosporan Hoplites in the back a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too bothered about that. Let's just try and charge through all the way to their general. I think that's going to be the main thing. Our lines are generally holding okay. Better than I expected, to be fair. Right, now you can set up ready to go. We'll get you on guard mode as well. And look at this. Just absolute chaos in the center here against the light infantry. Come on. Come on, guys. I know there's a lot of them, but surely we can break them. By charging. Come on, boys. There we go. Broken one. We should be able to charge through everyone and break them all. And then hopefully we can mop a lot of these guys up straight away. Let's then try and break the general. And what I'm going to do is send a couple of these units to chase these guys down. Because otherwise, they will come back to the battlefield. And that is not going to be good for us. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, Bosporan cavalry. Okay, it's not the worst thing in the world. Although this is their general cavalry, right? This is their general cavalry. We do have a gold experience, though, and they only have bronze. Oh, my God. He's cutting down the uh, the Akontisti like no tomorrow. <laughs> wow. That is not what we wanted or expected or needed, actually, to be fair. Um, these guys doing a decent job. Well done. Keep, keep up the good job, my friends. Well, there we go, guys. That was a very bloody fight for... Um, for that, but now we uh, we are down to very few men, but that has broken the Thurioforoi there straight away. Let's just check how these guys are doing, and uh, they're basically going to be chasing down the rest of these boys. Let's charge, let's rally the men as well, let's not let our general die this time through incompetence, unlike last time. Um, and there we go, instantly broke them, let's just get out, and uh, who else can we maybe break down here? probably one of these guys would be ideal. They're exhausted as well. They were running up the hill the whole time. Here we go. Straight in the back of them, guys. Straight in the back of them. Let's see if this is a good charge. Not the best charge. It did break the other 304. Okay, there we go. It did break them. It did break them. That is excellent. That is excellent. Let's go. Let's see if we can break these guys then as well. That's going to be amazing. All right, here we go. Rally the men again. Rally the men. I've taken a load of these guys off guard mode now as well. So they will actually attack into the units. And there we go. We broke them. We will definitely make sure you go and chase them down while we use these guys for the rest of the armies. Oh, some of them have come back. Some of them have come back. That is not ideal. That is what I was worried about. That is definitely what I was worried about here. So, uh, yeah, that's... I mean, are you going to be able to chase them down? I don't know. They're very tired. We're fresh. We should be able to catch them, actually. Um, well, what I'll do is I'll send across you guys. You should be good for chasing them down. We'll send across you. We'll send you to deal with them. You also need to uh, get through these guys and start chasing people down. And there we go. Another one has come back. Ah, uh, this is really annoying. This is really annoying. Because we've got these guys here that have come back. And, uh, yeah, that's just going to block our path, which is not ideal. Well, there we go. Broke the last one of them, guys. So now we can just fully mop them up. That's fantastic. Let's get on with that. Well, there we go. Literally only three men survived this whole battle on there. So that's three men to tell everyone to watch out for Pontic Pentapolis. Because we are the boys. And we actually lost hardly any men. We lost a lot of cavalry. But that is... A good example of using a unit effectively. Because um, otherwise, yeah, we would have been screwed. Like, 247 kills for the Progemoy. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. And the Hoplites, I've got to say, on guard mode, they did a fantastic job of defending. So, very, very nice indeed. Glorious, I should say. Let's go. And Scopolos is ours. We're just going to occupy it, guys, because it is, like, there's nothing there. Well, I think we go straight on to Jorgripia over here. Hopefully, they don't have another massive army uh, somewhere. <laughs> that was a little bit scary. I, 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 that just came out of nowhere, guys. 65%. That's absolutely fine. No problem with that. Let's delete their temple. Artemis again. Yep. So, it definitely was their temple that was in there before. And uh, we'll get our law temple in there as well. There is one of their fleets... But now we should have... Oh, it's next turn we get all our fleets. But um, we're going to have a big fleet, guys. So um, we're going to take revenge on the Bosporans, shall we say. <laughs> and in the rioting at Panticapaya, my spy was actually killed. That is not good. Well, guys, it seems to have frozen. 
I don't know why. Maybe it was me pressing on that spy there. Oh, you can't even see the cursor. On the spy on the left-hand side. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, reload, I think. Well, note to self, guys. Don't press on that spy in the side there. But we're going to try and do everything as we did it before. And this is what I'm talking about, the Navy guys. On the next turn, there we go. We have a bit of a Navy now. It's not amazing Navy still, but it is a Navy. That is the most important thing. And um, I'm hoping it can beat them. I mean, on hard, like, surely this amount of ships should be able to beat them. How many do we have? We've got seven, eight, and then we will have some more down here as well, which will bring up... Next turn, we don't need to fight them just yet. Where we'll get all of our navy together first. But um, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> and instantly, look at that. This game just does not want me to have a navy, does it? <laughs> I think, honestly, for this battle, guys, we are just going to auto-resolve it. 200. Honestly, I don't mind that at all. I think we've still got enough to go and attack Jorgripia over there. And this actually is relatively fine. They're not too upset. 40% off the bat. Uh, what do you have? They've got a Temple of Artemis again. They do like their Temples of Artemis, don't they, my friends? Um, they're unhappy at the minute. So what if I jump in there? And then I'm wondering if that's enough to make them happy. It's close to enough to make them happy. That would definitely be enough. These guys are just going to have to be unhappy. Um, unless we put you in there. There we go. Fantastic. You should be able to join in with this army too. And uh, we'll keep on going. And we'll try and take out the Bosporans now. I think that's the last... Oh no, they've got another one. So I'm basically hoping we can auto-resolve both of these sieges, guys. Um, without too much of an issue. And then have taken out the Bosporans, then send this guy back for retraining. And at that point, guys, we will have a full horse archer army, which is going to be insane. Um, and we're going to use it against the horse archer tribes along the coast up here. Because I think it's going to be very, very valuable. Because uh, they'll have armies that are like a mix like this. And I think the horse archer is just going to be very, very good uh, against that. Well then, guys, let's also auto-resolve this next one on the next turn. And uh, we'll just enslave that as well. And we are just going to leave behind this guy because he has no movement left. I'm also going to switch these guys around a bit. So we've got ones that have a bit more power at the front. So they're the ones taking the brunt of the, uh, of the stuff on the next auto-resolve. Are you happy? You're plenty happy. Fantastic. This might not be one for an auto-resolve, but we'll see, guys. We'll see. Are there any mercenaries available? Still absolutely no mercenaries. That's rather scary. I don't like to see that. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, the, the Scythians, if they attack us, will not be good. Uh, they've already transgressed against us. That's great. Or is that my transgression against them? Where did we... Oh, we walked that way. Uh, I'm sorry, Sirachis. I didn't mean to do that, my friends. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, guys, we now have 13 ships. If we lose this, that would be insane. We have we have 14 ships now. That is good, and hardly any of them lost any uh, lost anything. So they're going to start making their way across to here to pick up the troops. And I think we can be fine on the open waters now, surely. Surely that's famous last words, isn't it, guys? <laughs> famous last words, but um, yeah, I mean, I think it'll be okay. Um, I do want another ship, though, to ship across our guys across here, the horse archers and that. Although, potentially, we could just walk. I don't think it'd be too far to walk. We need a general for that, though, as well. The one good thing over here, guys, in the Scythian settlements, if we just build the first level of um, Scythian recruitment or our um, AOR recruitment, we can actually retrain these guys without coming all the way back here. So the... Ideally, we'd want a full stack of just these Scythian horse archers rather than these boys as well. But I don't think we can wait that long. And uh, we'll continue to recruit them. And as we get more and more of them, we'll sort the armies out, uh, which should be good. Um, but I think that is the end of this turn again, guys. So let's press the enter. And now a candidate for adoption. Fantastic. That's what we needed. We needed a general for the horse archer armies. This guy's 23. By bright, magnetic, vigorous, reliable, friendly and grounded. Green commander, but a confident commander. Well, I think you are the perfect man, my son. 
You shall stand there, uh, ready to go. And we're now a dominant regional power is now. We're now an empire size of 41 to 80 cities. 41 cities. Cool. That's pretty good. I think that's is that, that's more than halfway, my friends. More than halfway. And I think we're only going to start getting quicker. Let's have a look at the odds for the auto resolve here, guys. 270. I pressed that a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I thought it might be like an 800 casualties to us. But that is the Bosporans dead. That's fantastic. That is what I've been waiting to see. <laughs> Come on, guys. Get a move on. Maybe uh, we can meet you in the middle somewhere like there. Ooh, there's a rebel ship there. We know how good the rebels can be occasionally. What do we want to leave behind, though? That is the question. A whole two mercenary Sarmatians. Will that be enough? Surprisingly, it's not. <laughs> I think maybe the mercenary Scythians. That's only 35%. Do we have anyone here that can walk far? No, we do have you, though. And this area, this place looks a little bit happier. So, what if we do that? That's that's acceptable. That's acceptable, my friends. <laughs> they hardly built anything in there, too. Um, and, right, let's... Um, so, we are going to walk through the Sarakis again. So, they're not going to like us, but we're, we're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry about that, Sarakis. Please don't bring that massive horse archer. Oh, my God. <laughs> That massive horse archer army to fight us. That wouldn't be so fun. Well, I think we know what that means, guys. <laughs> well, we managed to get an alliance, which is pretty good. We don't have a great relationship with them, but hopefully it's going to go up. They are bankrupt as well, probably because that massive army they're just standing there with. Well, guys, a couple of turns later, a few turns later, we've managed to get this army together. I've got a few infantry in there just to uh, hold rams, all that sort of thing. They're going to go around this coast here. Uh, an attack. We've got the alliance with the Sirachis over there. I'm also retraining this army. As you can see, they are basically being retrained. And then what we'll probably do is start making our way down this coast here. It's quite far away, but I think it's going to be okay. I'd rather that than have to fight two Bithynian armies, definitely. Um, but yeah, we're in a good place. We've also over-recruited horse archers. So we have spare horse archers yes. here. We've got six up here right away which is amazing and we are still recruiting so that's nine plus another two there which is going to be um of course 11 then we need the infantry with them so we're going to have another horse archer stack soon and i think when we do get that that will be the one that we take on by thinia with so um that is very exciting but i hope you did enjoy guys a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated and i will see you all again on the next video